to my few followers on Friday. I greet you. Um, fishing with Jay Nat, fishing with Wasi's finest, and you know we looking for that tight line again. Early in the morning, you know uh, I wish I'd have got out here a little earlier, but had to gather my things. I'm out here on Gut Road. I'm gonna try to catch some minis, man, with my new net that I got. I ordered an umbrella net. I'm gonna show you uh, basically what it does. So this is gonna kind of be, you know, a fishing video slash, uh, you know, a, a product review. So as you can see, our umbrella net comes with like a little string. Oh. Man, I can't really see well with these glasses on. But yeah, it comes with a you know a little string. I guess you need to tie one one part of the string to that. And um it goes it starts the string here, but it opens up here. So you just gotta try to film it at the same time. You see it opens up like this. It's a bunch of holes in it. This is like a really cool net, it only costs like 15 bucks. You zip it up, you know, put uh you know your bait in there, and you just let it sit. So I'm gonna I'm gonna set it probably on the other end. I'm, I'm gonna try to do my thing in here. I see some minnows. I'm gonna do my thing here a little bit with my other drop net, and uh, I'm gonna set this one down and try to hide it. So, yeah, I think this thing is really cool. It's nice. So, show you what it does. That is like one of my favorite spots right now, down here in Gut Road. You know, I'm not afraid to tell you guys. And um, want to inspire you guys to come down and get catch these minnows. You know, I even throw no bait in my net, and there's a bunch of minnows in there again. So, uh, I'm, just, I'm gonna throw some in there though. I'm gonna try to turn this around and show you. Yeah, so I threw my umbrella net in there. I mean, uh, get yeah, my uh, little umbrella net in there, and um, I guess you know we gotta wait a while and see. You know, it has at least like I would say like six holes in it. And you know, I guess I gotta figure out how to get in there, so we gotta give it some time. But I'll show you what it looks like. Yeah, so I walked back to my other spot, uh, caught caught some good ones as you can see, and um, I came back over here. I didn't want to leave. Leave it unattended, even though my car is not far over there. Just want to make sure, you know, when nobody nobody chases, because a lot of people they're on honest nowadays. But uh, I'm gonna show you pulling them up, see what I did. It look, they look, it looks like it did pretty well. I had it sitting for like 15 minutes, but I'll show you uh, as I pull them up here. Does really well, and uh, you know, obviously, we don't got another system out of pump, but I got some big boys in there. Got some nice, nice big shiners, man. So, this, this thing right here, this net, you know, you can crab it with it. You got it off of Amazon with Prime. So, you know, as far as I'm concerned, my review, I give it an A. Plus. <laughs> yeah, I'm loving it. So, let me try to get on these walnuts, man. Now, I do have an aerator that I bought from uh, Walmart, and but one thing I suggest to do, just a tip for me to you, is uh, always fill your bucket up. With, with a lot of water, you know, because it just gives them, you know, a lot of oxygen while you're traveling between fishing spots. So I don't have to really use my aerator unless I'm going somewhere really, really far. So just showing you what I do here. They're inside the middle bucket and I feel like at least halfway, you don't want to like bounce around in the car and water all over in the car. But I always do this just to make sure you guys always have extra water.